we'll talk to director Eleanor Coppola about the making of the film. Eleanor Coppola, thank you so much for joining me to talk about your new film, Love is Love is Love. And I get a little choked up thinking about that final vignette where uh, Maya Kazan is celebrating the life of her mother who has passed unaccept uh, unexpectedly with all of these other friends sitting around a table for a luncheon. Well, actually, that piece really uh, originated from an experience I had of a friend who did pass away and her daughters and daughter-in-law uh, gave a lunch and reception for the mother's friends. And um, we all gathered at her house and it was very uh, sweet and touching to talk about the many different aspects of the way our lives interacted. And I was so moved by the experience and by the kinds of conversations that, uh, that developed during that afternoon that I went home and, and started creating the script writing from that and from my own experiences of being with women's gatherings and so forth. And, um, and then the, the very touching part was that I was able, as it turned out, to shoot in the house of my friend who passed away. The house was empty kind of between uh, what the family was going to do with it next. And uh, so we shot in that house and it was uh, very, uh, just a whole emotional moving experience for me to do that piece, that project. Absolutely, adds a, a whole nother level to it. Um, the logistics of creating that environment and never do we get a sense that there's a camera anywhere other than the fact that we're capturing everyone's emotions and conversations. As a filmmaker, tell me about setting that up and creating that, to me, a very complicated situation. Well, it always reverts back to the cinematographer. I had this wonderful cinematographer I'd always wanted to work with, and he brought um, uh, another um, photographer. So there were two cameras going, so that helps a lot when you have that kind of situation to be able to approach it from two camera angles. But the uh, outstanding feature I thought were the women like stayed at the table even if the camera wasn't on them. It was like they were like as if they were in a play. They, they supported each other in a kind of way that I think translates onto the screen of their connection and being present. You know, because usually when you're on one actor, the other actors get up and go. <laughs> go right. <up>. And they, <laughs> yeah, they, they remained together as, a, as this ensemble uh, acting ca uh, cast, and it was great for the whole piece, I think. Um, I have one final question for you. You said that documentary filmmaking was something that was a part of you. How did this, how did that style of filmmaking influence this fictional tale? Well, I think it um, makes me not a very good uh, director of fictional work because I'm always looking for the reality or what's real or I could make a documentary about me making it. <laughs> more easily than actually making it in a certain sense. And for that, the way I get around that is by gathering together really talented, experienced actors and really saying to them, you know, you know how to do your piece better than I do. And you're not going to be able to count on me as some strong director who's going to give you a lot of direction. Uh, and they, they bring to the table their incredible abilities to be expressive and I just sit there and watch in a certain sense. I mean, sometimes it gets a little over the top one way or the other and I try to rein it in, but uh, I'm really not the director who knows how grandly to direct actors. I'm really looking at it more as a documentarian, even in the fictional shooting process. Very good. Eleanor Coppola, thank you so much for creating Love is Love is Love and taking the time to talk with me today.